Don't you guys just love fall? I know I do. One of the best things about fall is all of the pumpkins. But you know what's not so great about fall? A rotten pumpkin. Today, we're gonna play a game where you have to try to identify a rotten pumpkin from a good pumpkin. The rules are simple. I'll give you the name of a Bible character, then I'll show you three pumpkins with facts about that Bible character. Two of these facts will be true, but one will not be. That's the rotten pumpkin. All you have to do is hold up the number of fingers for the pumpkin you think is rotten. One, two, or three. Easy enough, right? All right, let's go. Our first Bible character is King David. Now, which of these is not true about King David? One, David killed a giant. Two, David was Israel's first king. Three, David was a shepherd. Remember, hold up one, two, or three fingers based on which pumpkin you think is not telling the truth. Okay, time's up. Who is holding up two fingers? You're correct. King David was Israel's second king. Good job. Let's try another. Our next Bible character is Samson. Now, which of these is not true about Samson? One, Samson was very weak. Two, Samson had long hair. Three, Samson killed a lion. Okay, time to get those fingers up. Which pumpkin do you think is not telling the truth? Time's up. Who's holding up two fingers? You should be holding up one because Samson was very strong. Let's do another one. Rahab is our next Bible character. Now, which of these is not true about Rahab? One, Rahab was from Jericho. Two, Rahab helped the Israelite spies. Three, Rahab hung a bird cage from her window. All right, it's time to decide. Which pumpkin do you think is not telling the truth? Time's up. Who is holding up three fingers? You are correct. Rahab actually tied a scarlet rope in her window. Let's try another. Peter is our next Bible character. Now, which of these is not true about Peter? One, Peter walked on water. Two, Peter lied about knowing Jesus. Three, Peter was a tax collector. So what do you think? Which of these pumpkins is not telling the truth? Time's up. Who is holding up three fingers? You're correct. Peter was actually a fisherman. Good job. Welcome Kidland Kids. This is Miss Jen and Miss Andre. We are so glad you were here today. We are in our newest series on the parables. Yeah, parables are stories Jesus told to help us better understand how we should live. Yes, and this series, we have some help to share that with you.
The Bible says in Matthew 13, 12, To those who listen to my teaching, more understanding will be given, and they will have an abundance of knowledge. Let's learn that verse today. This is Matthew 13, 12. We're going to start by marching like this. Let me hear you say, hey. hey. And hey, one more time, really loud. Tyler and welcome to the first episode of Rewind. Rewind is a show where I scour the web looking for the most awesomest viral videos and I show them to you, my loyal viewers. So let's get started. Rewind. Today's first segment is gonna be cool or not cool. Cool or not cool. That's right, I have two buttons in front of me. One is cool, cool, and one is not cool. Not cool. If I see a video that I think is cool, I'm going to hit the cool button. And if I see a video that I think uh, this is just not cool, I'm gonna hit the, that's right, not cool button. Get it, got it, good, let's play. Video number one, let's check it out. Oh, 
Oh! The kick into the trash can, very cool. Ooh! Oh, Call of Duty throw. Oh, it went in! Take me. Pancake, okay, right off the bat, any video involving pancakes is gonna be very cool in my book. So I'm gonna go ahead and vote this video cool. Cool. Okay, so that leaves the score to start off with cool one, not cool zero. Let's watch our next video. Oh man, question box. Come on, banana, 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 banana. Oh, red shell! Look out, son! Boom! Oh! Here we go. Oh! Mega boost! Boost it! Boost, boost, boost! You gotta keep clicking the boost, that's the secret. Wow, that video was insane. That makes you wanna play Mario Kart right now. Green shell! To be honest with you, that looked a little dangerous, and I think I'd just rather play regular Mario Kart. Sorry, sue me, I'm lazy. This video is not cool. Not cool. And I think that brings the score to cool one, not cool one, we have a tie. So we need to check out our next video. Okay, we're on a train. Whoa! He just jumped through the door! So did the camera guy! Just making some coffee. Making coffee? What is happening right now? <gasps> is he gonna drink that? He's wow, floating, wow. he's floating, he's floating. Okay, I don't know who this guy is or what kind of wizardry he's involved with, but that stuff looked very real. That is very, very cool. I'm gonna vote this video. Cool. Cool. Which brings the score to cool two, not cool one. So let's check out our next video. Oh, the no-looker. It landed. Four at once, okay. Guys, you know what, to be honest, I don't, I don't know about this video. Bottle flipping is pretty old and it's not that impressive anymore. I mean, not cool. Not cool. Which then brings the score to a tie. We have cool two, not cool also two. This next video will determine the winner. So let's check it out. Once there was a boy who got himself into a debt he could not pay. You might say that what he did was an accident or you could say it was careless. Most likely you will agree that the boy's actions were no doubt a bit foolish. The boy paced and fretted, fretted and paced, trying to come up with a plan. Before he could think of a way to keep himself out of trouble, the front door opened and his father walked in. Hey Luke, how's your day little man? He was so shocked he was nearly frozen where he stood. Finally, the boy decided to tell his father the truth. When the boy had finished his story, his father knelt before him, no doubt ready to announce a harsh punishment. Except, punishment is not what the father gave him. Because his father loved him, he forgave him and wiped away the enormous debt. So the boy went outside to play and continue with his life. After a little while, the boy decided to retire back to his bedroom. There he found a ghastly sight. It was his little sister drawing messy scribble murals all over his favorite posters. You might think the boy would show patience and kindness to his little sister. After all, his father had just forgiven him of a much larger debt. Sadly, that is not at all how the boy reacted. Whatever mercy his father had shown him, it did not make its way on to his sibling. 
The boy's father was disturbed to learn that the boy had been so cruel to his little sister. And all this after the father had shown him mercy for an even greater crime. The father reminded the boy of the enormous debt he had forgiven. He questioned the boy, asking, why wouldn't you forgive your little sister for this, an even smaller debt? The father had shown the boy mercy, and so the boy had no answer for why he neglected to show even an ounce of that same kindness to his little sister. Of course. Parents always show up at the worst time. Oh, that's good. That's good. Aww. <gasps> oh no! His favorite messy poster! He broke the phone. Everybody makes mistakes. Whoa, that video was very cool. Cool! And that's gonna do it for the cool videos. Cool wins today, you guys. Because that dad totally forgave his son even though he didn't have to. I mean, he broke his iPhone. And yes, of course, it wasn't an iPhone 10 or whatever, but still, no one likes it when their phone breaks, right? And that's a very, very cool thing to do. He forgave him. That video definitely gets a cool vote. And that is gonna make the score cool three, not cool two. And the winner is cool. Cool wins. And you know, the more that I think about it, it would have been very, very easy to be like the boy in this video and not forgive his sister, right? This story reminds me of the Bible story of the unmerciful servant. In the video we just watched, we saw how even though he broke his dad's iPhone, his dad still chose to forgive him. The dad totally could have gotten angry and punished him, but he chose to forgive him instead. But then when it was the boy's sister that had destroyed his favorite poster, he chose to get angry. He chose not to forgive her. And this is just like how the servant in the parable chose to not forgive, even though he was forgiven for an even greater debt. The servant begged and begged for a second chance, and the king graciously forgave his debt. But then immediately after that, the servant was released, and he came across a fellow servant who owed him some money. And when that servant begged him for a second chance, he threw him in prison. It was just like the father had corrected the son at the end of the video. The king had corrected the servant for his lack of forgiveness. The king was outraged to hear that the forgiveness that he had granted the servant hadn't been passed on. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water oh, hey guys. and even raised people from the dead. One day, Jesus was talking with his disciples and teaching them when Peter asked, Um, Peter? How often should I forgive someone who sins against me? Seven times? Jesus said, No, not seven times, but seventy times seven. Then Jesus told a parable. He said, The kingdom of heaven can be compared to a king who decided to get his money back that he had let his servants borrow. While the king was doing this, one of the servants who owed him a million dollars was brought in. One million dollars, please? The servant couldn't pay, so the king ordered that he be sold, along with his family and everything he owned, to pay the debt. Wait, please! But the servant begged the king, Please be patient with me, and I will pay it all. Then his king was filled with pity for him, and he let him go and forgave his debt. But when the man left the king, he went to a fellow servant who owed him a few thousand dollars. Uh, hi? Come here, Will. He grabbed him and demanded that he pay him back immediately. Oh, wait, please. His fellow servant begged for a little more time. He said, be patient with me and I will pay it. No. But the servant wouldn't wait. He had the man arrested and put in prison until the debt could be paid in full. When some of the other servants saw this, they were very upset. They went to the king and told him everything that had happened. 
Then the king called in the man he had forgiven and said, You evil servant, I forgave you that tremendous debt because you pleaded with me. Shouldn't you have mercy on your fellow servant, just as I had mercy on you? Then the angry king sent the man to prison to be punished until he had paid all that he owed. Jesus then said, That's what my heavenly Father will do to you if you refuse to forgive your brothers and sisters from your heart. The lesson that Jesus is trying to teach us through this parable is that God forgives us for so much. We were able to be forgiven because God sent his one and only son, Jesus, to die on the cross for our sins. God did this because he loves us more than we could ever even imagine. He forgives us even though we don't deserve to be forgiven. And if God can forgive us for all of our sins, the very least we could do is forgive each other. Because God has forgiven all of our sins, we should not withhold forgiveness from others. So the next time someone mistreats you or someone says something mean to you or even if you're a brother or sister they sit on you or they punch you or whatever just remember that we are told to forgive because we were forgiven first by God. All right guys I think we are just about done here. We'll catch you back next week on another episode of Rewind. Okay bye.